Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome campers. You're in the Norwegian Deciduous Forest. My name's Ranger Danger Josh, and I'll be showing you around today. Mm. Hello there, I'm Trailblazer James, and this is the Deciduous Forest. Now, when you hear temperate deciduous forest, you probably think, what does that mean? Now, I'll break it down for you. Temperate means the climate is mild. Now, that brings snow in the winter and a warm summer. That may not be mild to you because you live in California, but around here, that's mild. Now, deciduous means that the trees lose their leaves. As you can see up here, this tree is losing its leaves. In the cold seasons, the trees start to lose their leaves. They die off like this and cover the ground like this. And that's what makes a forest deciduous. Deciduous forests lose their leaves in the winter time, as you can see all around me. See? Deciduous! Leaves falling! Let's take a look at other deciduous forests around the world. Oh, how beautiful those are. So beautiful. Now let's explore more of the wonders of the temperate deciduous forest of the Scandinavian area. The soil of a deciduous forest is extremely fertile. This allows it to grow a great multitude of different types of vegetation, including moss trees, plants, and lichen. Right here I'm observing one of the many plants that grows in a deciduous forest. It's called the Gilder Rose, and it's an invasive species that is taking over the landscape here. Over here we have another native plant species to the Norwegian deciduous forest. Carpet moss. Carpet moss has adapted from an earlier aquatic type of moss to always have its pores open for more water. Because it rains so much here, this moss spreads very quickly because it's always taking in water and always growing. Right here we have a white birch tree. Its bark is heavily adapted for the cold, temperate, deciduous forests. And a fun fact about these trees is that they can survive in previous glacier temperatures. You can see we have a tree. Look, look. Down here. This right here is one of our other native animal species, the least weasel. Let's get him a little closer. The least weasel has adapted by changing its coat of fur to blend in with the dirt during the warm seasons and snow in the cold seasons. Another fun fact is its sharp claws and slender body helps it hunt at night and during the day. Just a few moments ago, we saw a European red squirrel up in the trees. These squirrels are heavily adapted to these forests using their strong teeth to bite into acorns and other seeds. These squirrels also use their bushy tails as balance. native species we found down here. There was a native European bison. Now these bison have adapted to this area by being faster than the American bison. This helps them with their longer legs escape predation from hunters and other animals. Right here we bestow upon one of the many caves in the deciduous forest around here in Denmark. Here in the Norwegian deciduous forest, we have a very moist climate. As you can see around me is a river, water, flowing down to the Baltic Sea. Of the many wonderful things to do here in the Norwegian deciduous forest is fishing, hiking. Sometimes people even go explore the Scandinavian caves located on the northern parts of Norway 
and the southernmost parts of Denmark. Here we have a wonderful stream going through, which gives people great experience of fishing and sometimes even white water rafting. some cinnamon walnuts and roasted <laughs> chestnuts. Two major health foods found here in the temperate deciduous forests of Denmark. Um, here we enjoy these tasty treats during Christmas time in the cold weather. This plaque over here is sponsored by the Denmark National Forest Agency. They are very dedicated to protecting these forests because of how precious they are to the environment. As you may have noticed, these forests are very well protected. All roughly 20 people who live in the region of Norway and Denmark care very much for their forest and nature. This is why this area is left almost untouched by human beings, except us making a project in them. Oh, let me just uh, get, the, get the trees in the sun and go stay up and then talk about the climate. Here in the temperate deciduous forests of Norway and Denmark, we see, we see a very temperate climate. Um, when we look at the climatograph, we see that when temperatures go up, the amount of precipitation goes down, and vice versa. When temperatures go down, the amount of precipitation rises. Also in this area, we have a very wet winter, which brings snow and a lot of runoff from the mountainsides down to the lower lands of the temperate deciduous forests. What is it? It's a cigarette butt. A cigarette butt? Come here, look. Look at it. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, disgusting human beings. I hate humans. Putting that disgusting thing in the mouth and then throwing it on the ground for it to affect all of us, not just them. God. Tell me what you just found there on the ground, mate. I found a bloody Doritos bag. But all in all, us here are in Denmark are very fortunate. Our environment is clean, our water is great and drinkable small amounts of pollution actually end up making it into our forests. But every bit of pollution is bad for the environment. Even one plastic bag or one cigarette is an eyesore and can eventually affect the populations of animals and water in our environment.